just to tell her now. But what's in here? What's in here? What's in here? I've been doing business here. Yeah. That's why I'm talking about you. Do you have a business? Do you have a business? Yeah. Do you have a business? Yeah. 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 This video is a result of this tweet by a black South African politician who is in parliament. With all the power he is, is this kind of question he should be asking. South African politicians are busy focusing on the symptoms of the suffering of blacks in South Africa instead of the cause. Should black South Africans fight for sleeping spaces in the street and low-paying jobs instead of fighting to own the means of production? Fighting foreigners won't help. They are being shipped into the country in numbers. Could it be the globalist agenda? These politicians know the end game but are quiet. Are they part of it? Black South Africans should stop being cowards and should face their real enemy. Well, 67 Pakistani nationals have been sent home following a sting operation at Oatambo International Airport. Home Affairs Minister Aaron Motoledi says they were trying to enter the country without complying with immigration laws. They were stopped earlier today with questionable visas, having travelled from Dubai. Um, the South Africa, majority, I'm sorry to say this, but they are very passive and ignorant. To their own environment, very passive and ignorant to their own. They create their own environment. that their own illusion of of a perfect environment that doesn't exist. right now. Even our food security, our time is in the hands of white people. Food security. One other thing, and that's a dangerous thing. Dangerous thing. Hey, and imagine we don't even own a land to secure ourselves with this food security. So they are holding us ransom. So we are not moving anywhere. We, we can go and vote each and every year. But in actual fact, we can go and vote each and every year. We can go and vote each and every year. Pakistan, <laughs> Pakistani. <laughs> We got too many brothers. They are missing. We don't know where they are. And one is bad. Yeah, one is bad. 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 And as a state, most of us can't see that's like Bagazi Motors, this is about to swing. How many owners is what your sister may be on a little building? Nah, I'm missing. I was as you was it on a my topian. Motu and Gena in him. Serious, in the city, I'm a pair of a boy to that. He owns a building. Say, own a Mutuanga pan. He owns a corner of a man, as he has to be. All of Yavo in the building there is that flat down before cross Gena. Not a flat in Labomana will go Labomana with own a my topian. Black people don't have ownership. We have ownership of nothing. Even the richest of the richest of black people are employed, Baba.
They are CEOs. They are tokens. They own nothing. They are control everything. They are nothing. Even the richest of the richest of our black people are employed. They are CEOs. They are tokens of big companies. They don't own ownership. Is in the hands of, of of white people, of foreigners, of Europeans, of colonizers. We don't own nothing. Nothing. That's why we can't develop nothing. B E E. I think that uh, perhaps the facts speak for themselves. BEE is a dramatic failure. Uh, of the listed companies in South Africa's JSE, uh, less than 3% are black-owned, 100% black-owned. The tragedy from the very beginning was the naivety to think that the oppressor can give you the means to defeat him. One of the companies, well-known companies in the country, one company owns more than 75% of the shares quoted in the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. I'm telling you now, we are controlled by the Rupert, we are controlled by Investec, we are controlled by the Oppenheimers. They have deployed Praveen to look after their interest. They told Zuma right on his face the day he removed Praveen. It's not a joke. They went to him and said, we will collapse this thing if Praveen doesn't come back. And when those white CEOs went to tell Zuma to reinstate a minister, it was not a state capture. It was not business interference. The white owners of the economy told Zuma that if you remove this one, you don't reinstate this one, we will collapse this economy. We'll take what, which, that which belongs to us and leave. Johan Rupert made a similar remarks here that if D.D. Mabuza becomes the president of South Africa, he will be left with no option but to take what belongs to him. He's in a way telling you who you should elect. You are being told and dictated to by white monopoly capital who should become the next president. The most important person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values and agenda of an entire generation to come.